Hey folks, welcome to Northgard. This is a game that reminds me a lot of an old game that I played long ago called Cultures. I think it was also called Settlers. Uh, the most recent version of it is out there called Valhalla Hills, if you've seen that one out on Steam. Um, it also reminds me a lot of Civilization and especially Stronghold, and you'll get to see that as we, as we get into it. Um, basically, you've got Vikings and you are conquering a land. You are one of, at this point, five tribes. Looks like we have two more coming. Um, the Wolf Clan, the Fenrir, yeah, there's there's uh, names here I'm not even going to be able to pronounce. Um, they, I think, are the easiest for a new player to, to use because it gives you the bonus of food, basically, when you take out one, some of the more common enemies on the map, and it gives you a bonus to happiness and happiness is kind of hard to maintain later in the game so that's something that will certainly be helpful uh the deer clan gives you a bonus to most of your basic supplies and later on even stone stone we're going to find is hard to maintain it's pretty rare so a bonus to this is actually pretty huge uh the goat or ram will give you a bonus of sheep sheep think of as wool think of as warmth in the winter the Raven will give you mostly, I think it's exploration is kind of the sense, explorers. So your mercenaries in your um, harbor um, exploration. So they'll go out to, to other areas of the map and, and raid and, and bring back. And then you've got the bear. And this is, this is actually the newest one that, that's out. You know, the newest update and the armored bear is 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 strong that's something you definitely want in your uh, uh, your your military uh, group if you, if you can now I'm gonna go with this guy I'm gonna play this on easy and I'm going to play it against only one opponent and domination is going to be the victory condition meaning you've got to actually beat them and and win rather than Oh, fame or wisdom or, or what have you, you know, trading. There's other ways to win. Back, I can pop back into that, right? Uh, back, yeah. Domination, wisdom, trade, fame, and I'm not sure what map special is, but I'm going to go with green and small map size and one player because I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about the game. So a much harder condition is not going to give me the time to do that before I'm already overwhelmed. So okay on you, Wolf, and start game. Let's let's see what happens here. This is an enjoyable game, but it can get a, a, ahead of you so quickly. It's going to be hard to really teach it and not have the uh, uh, so much going on around me that I'm going to get swamped. But basically, what are we starting off with? Four out of five of our population. Building a house early is important. They get unhappy when they can't expand. So let's go ahead and get that going. Build over here gives us, at this point, just three buildings. House is right there. I'm going to fire one off immediately. And then I'm going to get the next most important one in, the scout camp in. Because the third building is your woodcutter. And it'd be nice to drop him into a forest zone. Each of these areas are centered on a, a concept. This one is town hall. This is your home base. Your, uh, what do you call it? The hex square of a, of a, of a map, a tile, I guess we'd say it. Um, this guy built. Let's grab. Right click on your villagers, and it will select all of them. You could just click one at a time, or if you are way over here and you click on it, it sends you to your closest one, and then you've got to move back over to where you were trying to work. If you right click on them, you go back over there. Right click on them, it selects all of them, and it doesn't move the map around. Then you can right click on where you want them to go. In this case, I want them to become scouts. Although I don't need two scouts. So, which is a, I did that on purpose because one of the things that's hardest to figure out early on is how do you take someone who's in a profession and stop them and make them just villagers again? You right click them back onto the town hall or onto a house. Either way, they will take on the profession of villager again. So we have one scout. A scout is out there with his hand to his eyebrow, and he's looking out there to find that this is fertile land. So we can put a farm in there if we decide to take this one. Taking it meaning colonize it for 20 food. We've got 
a hundred food or so up there. We've got 60 crowns, which is our money. We've got negative one logs coming in we're 90, out of 94. In other words, we're losing lumber right now due to firewood. So we're burning part of it. This right here was discovered. It is a ruin. So still no forestry. That's going to be right over here. Where's our scout? Click on this. Scout is discovering over here. This might be as well. There's a lot of trees in there. I'm going to give it just a little more time and see. Nope, we found stone. Stone is, is uh, there's 30 stone available here at this one little mine. We've got to build a mine to get it. He's right there. And stone is needed for most of your upgrades, so it's pretty important in game. The scout is going to scout this, and I'm going to look at this one last area before I build the, the, uh, the woodcutter. In order to gain an area, we could colonize this one. This one we cannot because there's a wolf guarding it. We've got two of them. We've got to take out the wolves, which is probably going to be our case over here, too. I suspect this is forest, but I suspect it is infested with wolves. I am wrong. It's over there. Okay, we're just going to have to make this happen, then. Um, let's grab this one over here and colonize it. Got a timer going on here. Anytime you gain or lose a tile of your map, it usually involves a timer. Enemies come in and try to take it. They will gradually undo that timer on you until you get over there to cancel it, defeat them, and then you, you have to sit on it until your timer goes back into your favor again. So, a lot of things here are not instantaneous. Um, we are scouting this. So let's take one last opportunity to peek in there, otherwise we get this thing built. Fertile land lets us build the farm, or field, into it. Oh, it's taking forever. Okay, what else do we need to get going? We can't build anything else until we get the woodcutter in. I see. You're kind of waiting on me. Let's just give this a few more seconds. What is going to pop in over here? And do we have the ability to deal with it? If there's wolves in there, we don't. We need to build our... No, you're not anyway. You're a ruin. Okay, now let's get you in right there. And 7 of 10, so we still have housing. Eventually, housing will upgrade. Cannot do it until we upgrade the town hall. Cannot do that until we get more wood and we get stone. So we kind of need this for stone. But we also need the... We got right there, the training camp to get a couple of soldiers to take out the, the uh, wolves to get our stone. Alright, what are we waiting on? Oh, alright, there's an important lesson to learn. This... These two over here built immediately, in the sense that a villager went in and immediately started constructing it, because there were villagers in this tile. There are no villagers in this tile, so we're going to need to assign them to do the work. So let's right-click on villager and right-click on there. The closest one will head into there and do it. Let's get the farm. No, I can't get the farm going. I can't do anything more until that guy's built. I was hesitant to put it into here because there's a lot of other things you want to put into here. This is a good place. Usually your home tile is where you want to put your military. Unless you get into a unique map situation where nothing else will expand. Everything is blocked off and, and pretty much protected. Except for one tile that moves you out into the rest of the, of the area. In which case maybe your military out over here would be good. Kind of defend the... Uh, you know, the, the gate into your kingdom if the map happens to build that way. It's all procedural, so it's different every time. Alright, what has happened? Woodcutter's Lodge is done. Click on it and we're over there. Let's right click and send you guys to there. And one, two, because this building is capable of two. Building upkeep per year 21. So there is some of the what takes down your uh, uh, your money. So building upkeep negative one but building upkeep here is 21 so divided up into different uh, time zones of the year I'm not sure how to correlate those two but speaking of time this is your time here this is your year if you look at it closely there's actually 12 months in there winter is coming so kind of keep that in mind as we go all right we have wood we have wood coming in We've got food coming in. We've got... Actually, we're going to need a population here soon. Where to? Let's grab 
we grab this land? We can. Let's colonize that for 40. And then we'll put a house over there. Uh, maybe not. I want to get a few things over there. Ooh, that's all stone. We need that. Okay. Let's get military coming in. Build right there, training camp. And put you up in that area. And we don't need to assign someone because there already was somebody in this area. Let's get farming going over here. You guys are going to be chopping the few of the trees you can find until we find an area that is based on forestry. See, ruins will give you something for your, count, your, your scout to go and discover. This will give you a bonus to, or give you a stone. This will give you a fertile land. I'm still not seeing a forest. Wow. Wood is not going to come in that fast on this map. Even though there's a lot of trees here, you get uh, like a plus 10% to your, uh, your woodcutters, meaning two of them, if you're in a forestry area. What was that last thing it just hit? Don't know. But this guy is done. Let's put two villagers into there. And we've now got two warriors. What are they officially? They are... Oh, they're warrior. Okay. Uh, our can't grow because we need more houses. Let's put another house, I guess, up in this area. So build house here. Build food. Ah, we're out of wood. Let's get that field going at 80, and we have 22. Uh, and food is not going to, or wood is not going to come in as fast as I'm used to because I've always had a forest. So I guess we're going to need to get a second uh, woodcutter in here to get the, the wood coming in a little bit quicker. 500 to 500. Ah, that's a problem too. We've actually maxed out on food. Let's go ahead and... What can we get a hold of? We can't. Everything else is guarded by something. Ruins. Guarded by Druger. Yeah. Think of Skyrim. The, uh, whoa, winter hit. And the uh, the dungeons, or the, uh, the crypts, basically. Lore we haven't talked about. Lore is your fuel for your tech tree. And as you discover things, you will gain lore. There's several ways to gain lore. Sharp axes will give us 15% bonus to our woodcutters. That's probably the best place we can go right now. So there's our first improvement. What else? We're, we need to assign somebody. Ah, right click you guys, send somebody over there. Get that one going. Anything else unbuilt? No. We've got here, your military units have 30% reduced power during the winter because it's cold out there. Where are they at? Right there. Um, we have a reduction to food in the winter. We have a reduction to lumber in the winter because a lot of it's being used as firewood. So a lot of uh, difficult times hit in the winter. Um, Warband. These guys right here, you can get to them by clicking this shield and it'll pick all of them. When we've got several different types around and it's hard to go and gather them all and get them moved in, then that's who uh, you want to click that shield, or you want to press E, which is easier. In fact, any point now, this wolf is probably going to attack us. They will eventually move into our, our, uh, our area and, and attack us. So let's see, E, take them out, or we could take them out and get that going. Let's do that, let's attack these guys. Ooh, there you are. I want to spend as much time zoomed in as I can. These graphics are really nice. This game. We have an injury that just showed up right over there. Let's grab him and get him out of here. He'll attack him now. Now we can attack again. Let's spread the injuries around rather than actually lose the player. No, he is. He know he's going after the weaker one. Interesting. Normally, when they pick a new one to attack, they stay there. Okay. Grab you two. Put you out over here. And we need to heal them. Hopefully, before the next attack happens. So that is done with your healer, your healer's hut. Let's put him where we're going to see most of our battles. Often here and there. That goes off that way. And this goes off this way. There are no real natural barriers. Okay, well, then I guess well, we're going to need how many buildings can we put in here? Only two. I need a farm. And actually your lore. Yeah, that'll. I guess that'll work. Build and healer. Lord doesn't need a building. You just assign somebody to it, right there. And actually, two of them are running in here. One. He is now a lore master. He's gaining more lore. So one of those. There we go. Plus three just went to plus six. So that is a bonus to getting ahead in your tech. 
And there are other ways to do that as well. I just noticed a bear over there. Right there. And as we take out... Oh, winter is done. Congratulations, we survived another year. Um, as we take out wolves and bears, we will... Let's see. Don't make that mistake again. We will gain food. So if you're hurting on food, go, uh, go take out some wolves. In fact, some of these wolves come from actual wolves dens. Let's see if we find an example of it here. I don't see... There we go. You could try to harvest... Ooh. Well, let's take care of this first. We're being attacked. Where? Right there. And we survived it. Good. Um, tremors have been reported. A big earthquake would seriously damage our buildings unless we store wood to repair them. That is on your calendar. It is coming up in about six months. So actually it gives you a hint of when to be prepared for. So need lots of wood to do that. It'd be nice to do what I talked about by getting the the woodcutter's hut going, a second woodcutter's hut, as well as some farms. So let's do some of this. So I need you guys right there. Let's get two healers going. They're going to start healing all of our injured. And let's get a farm going here. What was that last one? Scout was hurt. Scout was hurt. Scouting over there. Let's send that scout. Scout, right click, and send him back to here. They are right now healing. Healing a warrior. You are healing a warrior. So from long distance, they are send, sending healing waves out to whomever is injured. They could heal the scout from a distance. I think I'm going to have the scout sit over here and see if that speeds that up a bit. Does that work that way? Healing a warrior... No, nope, you're just going to go back to work, aren't you? Uh -huh. You are. You're healing a warrior. You are... Hmm, they are taking their time. They're not very productive yet. As we get more lore, one of these is to speed up medicine. Right there, healers speed up by 50%. And there may be another one uh, that speeds them up even more. Uh, where do we want to spend this guy on? Weaponsmith... Probably the first of these three would be a good place to begin. There's an important bonus to all of them. You need money coming in. You need your 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 uh, warriors to be a little more powerful. And farm is in there. Let's right click and get somebody building that. Let's get another one over here building this one. Build farm. We need that food coming in before the next winter hits. And it would help if we could put in silos. We need 100 wood. Though hesitant to dump that down. Well, okay. We're at a plus eight, and we're not hitting winter, but though we do have this coming in. Let's do that. We need to store some of this this food. Um, right click and get these guys uh -huh. being built. There. I didn't put that in. Okay, but we do have this one going. We do. All right. Yeah. So once that happens, let's kind of hang around here till this finishes, because there it is. I want to get two people in here as soon as possible. These guys have nobody else to heal. That's why they are on timeout. And we have one wounded left. Who are you? You're over there. Okay, are you being healed? Is that going up? Find our... They're not. Why is that? Because he's not in our in our uh, clan or in our in our lands anymore Let's see if that's the case need more houses yeah they're not happy when there's not houses but i need wood i need wood i just want to see first if they're being healed can you stay there tell you what let's assign you to there and let's put you into here you're now a scout you're going to take off you are going to be a villager and be healed okay um wood build Woodcutter's Lodge. Where to? I already have one there. And let's put another one. Mm, there what? No trees here? Let's grab a new place. Can I get you? I cannot. You cannot. And you cannot. Alright, I need a warband. E. We've got to clear some land. What's over here? You. Take them out. I need a place to build more uh, woodcutters. All right, you're good there. There's only one of you, huh? We gained 20 meat there. And let's grab this. Colonize for 80 food. And let's get... If there's still time... Oh, it's going to be close. Well, in fact, it is too close. 
It is. Let's leave this hundred here for our repairs. We're not going to be able to build one of those and get that, that wood back in time. Okay. Somebody's injured. That just became ours, so the injury, they're now within our land, so the injury's being, uh, being uh, taken care of. And that's going to go away here in a second, which then we'll put two people in timeout because they got nothing to do. Happiness, expected happiness. They, they gain happiness for having more territories, having more military units, for how much food you have in reserve. There's lots of different factors that gain happiness. All right, ruins. Let's have our scout right there. Now, I, I left click, so that shot my map all the way over here. So if we had right clicked that, it wouldn't have happened. Let's send you over here to go explore those ruins. That didn't work. How come? That's not ours. This one. He, he or she? Running person there. We've got a young lady over here that's going to come and explore this one. Ruins. Oh, there's an earthquake. Never mind on the ruins. Right click on your villagers. Right click on this. The nearest one to go build that if you have enough wood. More fire. If you have enough wood, that one will be repaired. Just two. Just two. Alright, they're all done. If you don't have enough wood, it won't happen. It won't work. But there was enough wood and there was an available villager to go and deal with that. And that emergency has been... And, uh, diverted. So um, now I can build that that uh, woodcutter's camp. Let's get that going in here. Good. Plus eight is going to go away in the winter. Plus eleven is helpful. Can we get this going too? Build. No, we're out of wood. That's why I didn't build the woodcutter at that point. We would not have had enough wood in our houses to uh, repair those houses. Let's put you. I don't own that one yet. That's why. I do own this, I own this. Let's put you in there, and let's get buying this one. Colonize for 120, we can afford it. And colonize for... No, that's all that we have cleared out. All right, so this guy right here needs to be cleared out. We have winter coming. Not yet, okay. Hmm. These guys are strong. My two guys are not gonna take them out. There's no point going after them. Let's leave their health for... In fact, let's find out where they are. They're over there. Let's get them right back here next to this place so we can spot them easily. But let's save them for someone who raids and attacks us. Only one will come over and attack us if that is the case. Ooh, hope he's not the one, though. He's even stronger. Got our grizzly in here. Wish I could rotate the map, but it doesn't work that way. So a bunch of stone over here. 52 each. Oh, this is huge. We definitely need to get into that. Have to go here to get into there. And then this is the iron version of it. Iron we can use to upgrade your... What just happened? We're having a floor. An unknown clan has reached the fame, the fame of Thane. Thane is one of your titles. We're a chieftain now. Then we go to Thane, we'll go to Jarl. Eventually you'll go to... Does it say? The King of Northgard. So that's one of the ways to win this game. We're going to go only with um, conquest or whatever the, the term was that was synonymous with that. But getting to the title of King of Northgard is one of the ways to win also. So it depends on just how you want to play the game. Um, this got done. You're in there. Let's get this in here now. Build and... Well, food. Food's actually fine. Let's get military first. Build our axe thrower camp. Our... Well, didn't mean to click that. Our shield bearer, uh, that's basically sword and shield. I like that. Axe Thor, though, will let them stand back and not take uh, uh, damage. You are here. Let's E and send you guys into attack that one. And these guys are going to take injury. Let's grab them and pull them aside. Although, yeah, it was enough to do it. But when you're taking injury, get them out of there. And you let your military do it. The worst that'll happen if you can get them all out of here is he's going to start slowly ticking your your little clock away. And so it's not going to be an instantaneous defeat. Plenty of time for your military to get in there and, and do the work. But they're all back to their job, right? Military is 30% reduction of power during the winter. And construction waiting for builder right here. I missed that one. Right click, right click, get those building. That will take care of that. I thought I had built houses, but I didn't. Anything else now? Food. No. Military. I want axe throwers. Keep them 
back away from the battle so they don't take the damage. That's kind of nice. And really it wouldn't hurt to have all. Um, although your soldiers to... to well, it's not going to tell me right here. It costs gold to do that. Which means we need... Wow, I'm behind on here too. It's hard to play this game and talk. It really is. I can do one more. Um, this gets basically gold coming in. And that was important because we're going to need that for a lot of our upgrades coming up. Colonization reduces the amount of food necessary to colonize a new area. That's pretty big here early in the game. Uh, mining efficiency when we get to, to start mining. Uh, fur coats allows your military units no longer have reduced power during the winter. Pillage. Come on, guys. Pause over there. Can I pause? I can. Oh, good. I can pause the timer so I can talk. Good. Pillage. Gains 15% or plus 15 crowns for each enemy that you kill outside of your territory. That's big too. Shipbuilding increases your sailors' resources. I think you need this in order to start building ships and go uh, attack other shorelines. Uh, coinage. Your merchants will produce 20% more crowns. So all of these are, are important. What is that? This must give you something associated with your clan, or our wolf clan here. So, explore areas controlled by another clan 200% faster. Um, reduces your military unit's need for food by 70%. Ooh, that's huge. And improves your trading routes. Crowns income by 50% uh, if you have your berserker. Berserker comes from your training camp right there. Hire a berserker. That's what we need to upgrade it first. So, so much to do. Let's call this episode done here. There is so much to do, and I feel like I've, like I've uh, got a little overwhelmed at the moment. Maybe overwhelmed you too. So I'm going to call this one finished, and I'll catch you next time. It's been Noble Rambler, and see you later, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>